Hi everyone, Justine Froker here and it's Take Care Tuesday. So we've been talking about nighttime routines. I've talked about some of the faith-based and non-faith-based devotionals that I love. I've talked about how I journal at night and I'm gonna end on some books when it comes to nighttime routine, which I'm gonna link in the comments below to my website, justinefroker.com. I am I have a book problem like I've already talked about, so I love books and I'm usually reading like five at a time, which we'll get to more of that when we get to the morning routine part. So reading just helps to wind down your brain, to make your eyes really tired. But there are a couple of things that I know we have to be cognizant of when we read. So I like a lot of certain authors because they, they write um, in short essays because you don't, like I know when to end basically. But some of us need to give ourselves permission to really only read one page. If you are an avid reader and you love getting sucked into a novel, you may need to set an alarm for your nighttime reading because we don't need you reading until 2 a.m. That's actually numbing. You're not filling up. You're probably avoiding escaping, things like that. So you might need to set a timer because we need you going to bed at a reasonable time because eventually you're going to start waking up to add in a morning routine, which we're going to talk about in the weeks to come. So after you do whatever you do, I usually recommend that you end on reading right before you turn off the light. So again, pick a book, whatever you love to read. I usually just read personal development because I'm a dork and read for five to 10, maybe 15 minutes and turn off your light and go to bed. If reading sounds horrible to you and you don't want to do that, you could always do um, a nighttime meditation. I love Insight Timer. I will link that below. I also love Calm and Headspace. I also listen to binaural beats every night, actually, when I go to sleep and I wear a super sexy headband <laughs> that um, has built-in headphones. So I'll link that below too. But like that way, the binaural beats are hitting um, each ear the way they are supposed to. And you, your ears don't hurt because it's a regular headset. Um, but seriously, it looks like a, you know, like one of those like winter ear cover things. <laughs> it's so not sexy. You add my binaural beat headphones, my night guard, <laughs> and my long ass nighttime routine. Sexy, sexy, sexy. But you know what? Happy is sexy. So people who do nighttime routines get better sleep. People who do nighttime routines are more refreshed when they wake up in the morning and they're happier because when you do a nighttime routine, your brain isn't ruminating and trying to work out and figure out all the shit that's happened all day long because you did what you needed to do to wind down and prep. That's why a nighttime routine is so important. So I would love to hear what else you do for your nighttime routine. Again, there's lots and lots of things like nighttime yoga, breathing, tapping, writing, other journals that I didn't mention, other books. Like I would love to hear all of your ideas, so please don't hesitate to comment below. If you found this video helpful, as always, please like it and share it with someone you love or maybe someone you don't love and that they're crabby and they need a better nighttime routine. So you send them that. Send them this. And of course, make sure to subscribe to my channel above so that you never miss a Take Care Tuesday or a Therapy Thursday. And I will see you next week for Take Care Tuesday and Therapy Thursday. Thanks so much.